So I came up with what I call a no-lose scenario, where I went to a guy who owned an internet cafe and I gave him an, an, an offer that he had nothing to lose. You know, if, if he was to take it, he had no risk. I, I was bearing all the risk. But if it was to work, he was going to get a lot of gains. So his internet cafe would open from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. So I went to him. I'm like, hey, dude, listen, why don't I be your guy for the night shift? I think you're missing out on an opportunity here. We're going to make a lot of money. He was a little bit skeptical. I was like, ah, no, you know, I'm just fine with this 12-hour shift. I knew if I went to him and said, like, hey, can I get a job? He was going to say, like, no, right? There was 95% unemployment rate. Everybody and their mother was looking for a job. So long story short, he, he ends up saying, like, OK, since you said you'll work for two weeks for free, I'll give you a shot. Let's see what happens. So I was you know, working uh, at the internet cafe from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. And guess what? We made more money in that five hour shift than the previous 12 hours. Why? Well, the only game in town. When people were leaving work to go back home, they would come to the internet cafe. It was packed full, you know, the, the entire time that I was there. But the reason why I did it was because at the end of the night when I would struggle to kick everybody out to leave, I would lock myself in the internet cafe and spend seven hours from 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. on the internet. That's how I studied for my SATs. That's how I applied to over 200 uh, colleges in America. And that's how I ended up getting a scholarship two years later to come to America.